Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. This time I want to talk to you about a different vulnerability assessment and that is Nestle's Essentials. What it is, Nestle's Essentials is a basic version of Nestle's Professional. Similar to OpenVAS where you have the OpenVAS Community Edition, with Nestle's Essentials you're going to have a limited version of the scanner. But the difference between OpenVAS and Nestle's Essentials is that Nestle's Essentials allows you to scan up to 16 IP addresses per scanner. So you are very limited when it comes to it. So you know, for you to install it, just do a search on Google or whatever browser you use and make sure that you search for Nestle's Essentials Download. When you come to this page, you're going to be uh, prompted to enter your first name, last name, and pay attention to this, a business email. So the reason for that is because they want to keep you in their email marketing list. And if you're doing this as a business, most likely you're testing this. So it is like your stepping stone into your information for marketing purposes. So once you do that, you are going to receive a confirmation email with a one-time activation code, as this one that I received here. This code, again, is a one-time activation code. If you end up removing or deleting Nessus and reinstalling from the same executable, this code is not going to work for you. So once you click on the download page, that's going to bring to the download link, I should say, that's going to take you over to the download page where you would select your operating system to download and install Nessus. In my case, I'm using Mac, so I selected Mac and I downloaded it and I ran it. There's nothing to show you there, just downloading a file, double clicking, on it, double clicking on it. And then once you do that, that is going to uh, take you over to the activation page where you are going to type in the code that was given to you, right? You enter the code and then boom, you're ready to go. Then that's going to start downloading all the plugins, um, for the application and then you're going to be ready to go. So here we are. I mean, the installation is way simpler than OpenVAS, if you remember. And um, let's get into it. So the first thing that you're going to see, the menu is kind of limited. You're going to have two tabs. You're going to have scan and settings. And then in the scans, you're going to have some of these policies that you're not going to be able to use because this is only available in the professional version, but we don't care about that for this video because we are concentrating on doing the essentials. So the first thing that you would like to do, just come over here to uh, create a new scan. But as you could see, I can't do anything right now because it is still downloading. So I'm going to pause this recording until I'm able to create a new scan. This should take maybe 10 or 15 minutes to complete. Okay, so I am back. It took some time for the plugins to update on this, probably hours, so I left this thing running overnight. And uh, we're almost done. So once you get here, uh, you're pretty much done. So as you can see, your options are limited with Nessus Essentials. This is your main screen. You have the folders where you can create and save your scans in. You have a couple of policies that you can use uh, for your system. You have the plugins. If you come here and you create a new policy, you'll be able to select them right from here, as you could see, you have predetermined or pre-configured policies that you can use to scan for specifics in your network instead of just doing a broad scan, which is going to take longer. Um, as you can see right here, some of them you have to 
uh, upgrade to the uh, commercial version of it to, to the pro version of it uh, you know especially for doing PCI scans or if you want that nice PCI reporting option you have to do that but going back to my scans if you want to come here you click on new scan then you select the um, type of scan that you would like to run if you want to do just a simple network discovery or again if you're looking for something specific like log for shell you could do that so I would say just since it is going to be the first scan that you're doing uh, just come over here uh, it says Nessus has detected that an API access on this scanner is disabled if you believe this is an error please try again later so let me deal with that right now because the installation was finished so I may have to restart the process for that okay so I am back here that error message was related to a browser issue so I was using um, I was using Safari and then I had that problem so I switched over to Firefox and as you can see it's working with no problem or probably if I would have cleared the cache history and all the cookies on that browser it would have worked you got you have to remember I had that session pending for for about two days you know the time that I started the video and then the um, plugins were updating then I just had time to get back to it just now anyway so once we're here as you could see you can click on new scan select your basic network scanner remember you only have uh, 16 IP addresses you can add to this and you could call this scan whatever you want to call it you know like my network and then description is whatever you want so this folder is the default folder my scan as you could see here you can create more folders for that and then right here is where you are going to uh, type the targets the IP address network subnets or domain name of what you are looking for so in my case for instance I'm gonna do um, 172 16 5 I'm gonna say uh, 160 to 170 right so I'm gonna scan 10 IP address uh, I'm gonna say save and then once I'm here I'm just gonna click you can schedule that if you want remember we're gonna go over that in details later but I'm gonna launch the scanner and that's going to do is magic as you could see it's going to start right now so i'm going to pause the video for a couple of minutes and i'll come back once the scan is complete okay so the scan finished as you can see if i come over here to my scans this is my scan uh, that i just ran so if you click on that that's going to show you all the hosts that were detected it just so happened that within that range of IP address that I specified I only have one host or at least one host live other hosts I have are shut down so if you click on that you're gonna see that the it detected some vulnerabilities just pay attention to this vulnerability graph on this side on the right side and uh, you would like to pay attention to high and critical so if you click on the mixed that's going to show you the severity based on the CVSS score and you can click on it and that's going to tell you more about the vulnerabilities anyway thank you for watching this was the introduction to Nessus Essential. I'm going to create another video where we're going to go deeper into the different aspects of the options that we have. They're limited, but uh, we can use them. Again, if you liked this video, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and if you also want to check on OpenVAS, I created a whole series for that. Just find it in my channel. Have a good day. Bye.